Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I'm going to be talking about the creation of static library using Ming. So there is a difference between static and dynamic libraries. Uh, static does not rely on external libraries. Uh, the executables are larger and it's good for small projects. Meanwhile, for dynamic libraries, it's great for larger projects. Code is easier to update, and the executables are smaller. And so for this tutorial, I will be covering uh, the creation of two static libraries. One is for calculating, uh, and the other one is basically for uh, chatting or texting. And the final executable will be linking with these two libraries. Okay, so let's open VS Code and uh, create a few files. So first file we want to create is uh, calc cpp. So let's create new file. Type in calc cpp, and we're going to include. Uh, count.h which we have not created yet and here we're gonna uh, declare double uh, add double a double b and type in return a plus b another function called multiply right and type in double a double b and return a times b and then save that okay so next we're going to create a new file called calc dot h and in here we're going to declare the if and def directive calc h define calc h so the preprocessor determines if the provided macro uh, does not exist before including the subsequent code in our compilation process. So <clears throat> then we're going to say include string, include IO stream, then using namespace standard, then we um, enter the prototype so double add double a double b double multiply double a double b and last but not least we type in n if this is to terminate our calc h file and then just save that file. Okay, so next we're going to create another file called chat.cpp. And in this chat.cpp, we're going to include chat.h, which we have not created yet. But this is the implementation. We say chat string text. And we're just going to do a standard C out and end line. Okay. And save it. Then let's create another file called chat.h. Okay. In chat.h, we're going to declare if and def chat h define chat h include string include io stream 
using namespace standard and say void chat string text and this is just a prototype then n if chat okay and then save the file and so if you look at the file uh, count there's no error now right chat cpp has chat okay okay so the next step we're going to create main.cpp so main.cpp and let's declare include chat.h include count dot h okay and then include IO stream for standard input output then in our main we're gonna declare the function chat so let's say chat hello world then we also want to um, call the add routine so let's say double result equal to add 2.5 and 2.5 right and we say result add result result and then we say result equal to multiply Let's say multiply 3.5 by 2 and then see how um, multiply result and line and return 0 and save the file. Okay, so next step is to create a new batch file which compile uh, all the libraries and then the executable so in our compile batch file we're going to declare g plus plus dash c calc dot cpp dash o calc dot o the dash c here in gcc means that we compile and assemble but not but do not link Okay, and then um, this will create calc.o. Then we're going to type in ar. This is, a, this is our archive uh, utility function um, program. And we're going to pass in rcs lib calc dot a. And then type in uh, calc dot o. So this will produce our static library file or archive file. Okay. Next, um, we're gonna type in g plus plus dash c chat dot cpp uh, dash o chat dot o. Then we're gonna call the archive. Um, program and we're going to pass in rcs uh, lib chat dot a chat dot o okay so r stands for replace s stand for create the archive index and c means do not warn if the library had to be uh, created okay so these four commands will create two of the libraries. Okay, so our next command, we're going to type in g++ dash c main dot cpp dash o main dot o. Okay, so that will create our main dot object file. Then our next command, we're going to link them all together. Right? So g++ dash o main dot exe main dot o 
library, which is our um, uh, current working directory. Dash L chat li um, library, then calc library. Okay, and then save it. Okay, so next step, let's open a terminal. Okay, and in our terminal, um, as you can see down here, we can type dir, and here are all the files that we created. So we have to compile that file here as well. So just type in compile, okay, and it's going to create, um, you can see here, it already created main.exe, okay. So let's, let's do a clear and type in main. And as you can see, um, it says hello world, and then the result is 5, and the multiply result is 7. So uh, all this is working basically okay so uh, this is all the time I have for this tutorial and, uh, and if you like this kind of tutorial please remember to press like and subscribe and make sure you ring the bell uh, to support me thank you very much and see you next time bye bye now